Hi, and welcome to Tyriel Arts with Terry. I'm Terry McFeely, creator of Tyriel Magic, the spray-on fabric stabilizer that makes fabric paper-like and very stable. Stable enough so that when we are making these cute little dog scarves or bandanas, I was able to do the embroidery right on the fabric without any other stabilizers. So the first thing you want to do is treat your fabric with Tyriel Magic. I like to use the saturated method where you completely saturate your fabric. It doesn't have to be dripping, but you want it to be completely wet. Dry it to damp, press it, and you're ready to go. These dog collars are made with a pattern whereas you measure your dog's neck and then you add 10 inches. And that is going to be the square dimension. So my dog was eight inches, so it's going to be an 18 inch square. Of course, most people will just be making maybe one dog collar, so you would just be cutting that on the diagonal, but I wouldn't do that until after the embroidery. In fact, I made two dog collars, one for my boss dog and one for my sister's boss dog. So I was able to embroider both of these before I cut the fabric. I did cut the 18 inch square, but it just made it very easy to do the embroidery. One thing when you're making your dog collar uh, for the embroidery, you're going to want to mark the center line. It's going to be on the diagonal or the 45, which shouldn't be too difficult. You're just going to want to mark a line that's the center line horizontally and the center line vertically. And once you do that, you can center your embroidery for your lettering, shapes, whatever you're going to do. And another great thing about using Tyriel Magic is you can finger press the hem. That's right, this is a double hem, it's a half an inch, but I will show you how I finger pressed it perfectly. I then did hit it with an iron before I stitched it, but fast and easy. Let's get started. things in closing. I noticed when I put the scarf on my dog Bodhi and I tied it around his neck, the embroidery was a little close to his neck. So I'm just suggesting to anybody who's making this for their pup to go ahead and just center it, I would say just below where I centered it. So uh, an inch to an inch and a half down. There still should be plenty of room in the embroidery hoop to do this. And one other thing, if you could please like this video. It helps my ratings and I would be so appreciative. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.